If the actuator of the turbo charger is defective, then find the appropriate tip in the fault memory. You can now exchange the actuator without having to replace the complete turbo charger. Now you can start on the actuator. Separate the electrical plug connector. Then remove the retaining clip at the adjusting lever. Make sure that the clip does not fall into the engine compartment. Then the actuator can be unscrewed. To do this, unscrew the three internal torque screws at the back of the actuator. Attach the new actuator in the reverse order. When installing, push the adjusting lever of the actuator into the adjusting linkage. The self-tapping screws go in with a little more difficulty than the normal screws. Remember to attach the retaining clip again at the adjusting lever. In order to program the new actuator, install all disconnected parts in the engine compartment. Then start the programming procedure in Star Diagnosis. Go to the programming menu and click on Boost Pressure Positioner. Start the programming procedure. In order to test the actuator, control it manually. Move the slider to both end positions. Now you can hear the actuator moving. Finally, clear the fault memory. And the renewal of the actuator is complete.